in 34 days, in 34 days, our fellow Virginians will go to the polls to elect local officials as well as state legislators. And it is imperative that we maintain a Democratic majority in the State Senate of Virginia. And we're going to elect some more House members as well. And, it is, and I am pleased to announce that all the proceeds from this evening will go to the coordinated campaign efforts to make sure our voice is heard and the differences are articulated and make sure we get people to the polls because elections have consequences. We only have to look over the last two years. That reminds us that these Republicans have been able to roll back so quickly in two years what we were able to do in eight years under great Democratic leadership of Mark Warner and Tim Kaine. We cannot let it happen. we got to get to work in the next 34 days. Yes. We've had some proud victories and difficult races here over the last couple of years, as you all know better than anyone. The most important thing right now is that for the next five weeks, everyone here stays focused like a laser on the state legislative races that are going to be decided on November 8th. We know why these races are important. We've got a two-seat majority in the state Senate, and we need to protect democratic control. That is absolutely critical. That is the firewall. We cannot allow them to take that firewall down. The democratic Senate majority makes sure that Virginia's working families are given a fair shake and protects against the disastrous Tea Party-approved McDonald to Cuccinelli agenda that would drag the Commonwealth backwards. We're not going to let that happen, right? Because we've got to get a legislation. Then when Governor McDonald says we don't want to implement the health care reform bill, we don't want to implement new uh, 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 education funds, we don't want to put, spend money on public transit, we don't want to do these democratic priorities, we need a legislature that's going to say, wait a minute, we need to do what's in Virginia's best interest. That's why we're here tonight. You know, we've had a couple of hard years after a couple of wonderful years in Virginia. And this is our year for recovery. And I know you know that. We have a brief period of time in which to secure uh, a number of races here in Virginia. I think we're going to send a message. If you care about making sure that the lives of the middle class and working families have champions and advocates to stand up for them, then making sure that we hold on to the state senate here in Virginia and make sure that there's a democratic majority is absolutely imperative. We don't need more politicians who care only about the wealthiest, most fortunate Americans. We need fighters in the state capitol to stand up for the values that Virginians care about, to fight hard to make sure that we have a good education system, that people have good quality health care, to make sure that there isn't a slash and burn mentality in the state capitol. And I know that on November 8, 2011, if Democrats can hold on and win these elections all across the state, the working families and middle class of Virginia will be in good shape.